Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Hakudash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Those of you who are of Negroid and Native Indian descent of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska, and Canada, also spread throughout the four corners of the earth due to the scattering done to our nation by the Heavenly Father Himself. Okay? Unto the elect, I say Shalom. Okay, this video uh, was inspired uh, by one of my brothers. Um, and uh, <clears throat> the video that he uh, posted today was uh, entitled, if I remember correctly, No Matter How Long It Takes. Okay, and he was going into uh, endurance and how we are to endure uh, until the Heavenly Father sends His Son back to uh, bring us salvation. Now within our endurance, uh, just like the scriptures say, no man knows the day or the hour. Okay? Not even the sun. When I, um, when the day of the Lord is to be uh, manifested here on, here on the planet Earth. Okay? And, and seeing that it is fact that we don't know. We are still uh, uh, commanded to endure all the way to the end if we want to be saved. Okay, there's no uh, other way around it. There's no other way around it but to endure until the Heavenly Father sends uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashayak back. But I want to come out of the book of 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter, and I want to highlight the 13th verse just to elaborate on, on the brother. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 13. It says, But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And that word weary goes back to the Greek word Ekakeo, which means spiritless or to lose courage. Okay? We are not to uh, lose courage or to be spiritless in our well-doing. And our well-doing is living a virtuous life here in this uh, present day and age. Under the rulership of the wicked. Okay? And a society... That is completely uh, um, adverse to the law, statutes, and commandments of our Heavenly Father. Okay? In a society that is completely adverse to our, our customs, man. To the customs of righteousness. We are to not grow weary, be spiritless, or lose courage in living that virtuous life unto the Most High and His only begotten Son. Okay. And it's hard work. It's easier said than done. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahakodash, which is the Holy Spirit, all things are possible. Okay. We are to be uh, uh, more than conquerors in Yahweh Shai, as it is uh, stated in the book of Romans. Okay. So while we are enduring. On this side, we are to uh, we are to focus on conquering, man, conquering everything that is uh, put in our path to uh, 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 to be a means of stumbling. OK. And we combat that through uh, uh, prayer. And, and faith. OK. Because if we do anything else besides enduring in faith, we have nothing that waits for us but uh, destruction, man. 
which leads me to my uh, second set of precepts. We're going to come out of the book of Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter. And we're going to read verses 13 through 15. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 2, beginning at verse 13. It says, Woe unto him that is faint hearted. Okay, woe, meaning destruction. Destruction is unto him that is faint hearted. What does it mean to be faint hearted? Okay. We were, I mean, excuse me, we, we read in the book of Second Thessalonians, the third chapter, we read a uh, a synonym for the word faint hearted. And that word is, is uh, weary, okay? Woe unto him who is weary or spiritless or uh, uh, him that has lost courage, okay? So it says, woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, okay? So if you become spiritless or you lose courage or if you grow weary in your well-doing uh, uh, towards the Most High and His Son, that means you you ultimately don't uh, believe. You don't have any faith in them. Okay, you don't have any faith in Yahweh, and you for sure don't have faith in Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, "Therefore, shall he not be defended." Okay. We know the prophecies. We know what, what the Bible says. There is there is a time of a, a trouble uh, uh, approaching, man. A time of a uh, 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 plagues. Uh, mass death, okay, uh, 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 um, a mark that is going to be uh, branded upon the people, okay, which is the RFID uh, NFC microchip, okay. The scriptures say, for he believeth not, so therefore uh, shall he not be defended. The Heavenly Father is not going to defend those who are faint-hearted. Who lose courage. Who become spiritless in this walk of faith. Okay. Verse 14. It says. Woe unto him. Excuse me. Woe unto you. That have lost patience. Destruction unto you. That have lost patience. And what will ye do. When the Lord shall visit you. And going back to what I said. Uh, 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 earlier. It is true, we don't know the time, we don't know the day, we don't know the hour, but we know for a fact that the Heavenly Father is going to send His Son, okay? The Heavenly Father is going to visit this world, the world which He has made uh, 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 by way of Yahweh Shah HaMashayah, okay? So it says, if you, woe unto you or destruction unto you, that have lost patience, what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? What are you going to do when the Lord uh, makes his appearance? You're going to be filled with shame, man. You're going to be filled with shame and uh, and uh, you're going to be uh, counted as a goat rather than a sheep. And you don't want to be in that position, man. That is a position or, or, or a lot. You do not want to uh, feel, man. Speaking first and foremost uh, 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 for myself. Because I want salvation for myself and my household and the brothers I stand with, man, and, and their families. I want salvation for all who, uh, uh, who in truth and sincerity, uh, 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 proclaim faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Straight up. I'm going to reread this again. So woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. Okay. So if you fear the Lord, you will not disobey 
his uh 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 his command his commandment uh, unto us to endure unto the end, man. Excuse me. To endure unto the end, to have faith unto the end. To be on the side of the Messiah and his father until the end. Okay? And if you love him, you will keep his ways. Okay? Which is uh, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments. Even though we live in this uh, uh, wicked society, man. Let faith be your guide. Let... Uh, uh, let... Uh, 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 the fulfillment of prophecies before your eyes be your driving force to continue in this thing. To continue in faith. True faith. Okay, not, not the faith that, uh, uh, that the world preaches, but the faith that, the, uh, uh, that is uh, prescribed in the, in the Holy Scriptures, man, in the Bible. Which is rock solid faith. A sure foundation. Not to be double minded, not to be uh, 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 shaken, but to be uh, uh, sure and confident, man. So endure, brothers. Endure, sisters, who, who uh, the few sisters that uh, uh, who are turning. To the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Salvation awaits those who are who are faithful. And who love the, uh, the most high and who love his son. And destruction uh, awaits those who have lost patience in their faith. So endure unto the end. For the heavenly father shall surely send his son man. Shalom.